UFC fighters. I see you guys creeping on my Instagram. Don't think I don't see you watching me. And I've been watching you. But then when you run up on me, you act like you don't know me. Well, you know who I am now. It's Roy the last Alexander Adesanya. Israel Adesanya rising to the occasion. And that's the last stylebender, folks. I think you can say right now, that kid's the truth. That's what we're talking about, ladies and gentlemen. That's technique. That's the last stylebender, folks. That kid's the truth. He is the last style bender, the UFC middleweight champ, Israel Adesanya, ahead of his fight against the light heavyweight champ, Jan Blahovich, this Saturday. Israel, you're moving up in weight class. Normally, I'd ask how much weight you put on. But is it true that you are actually going to be fighting at something very close to, say, your, your walk-around weight? Yeah, pretty much. I'm just going to fight um, close to my walk-around weight, um, which is around, I guess, 204 to maybe 198. So this is surprising to some. Why is this your approach? Why did you decide to go with this approach? Um, just because I'm not going to do something different that didn't get me to the dance. Uh, I feel like I've got the right frame to be able to handle this light heavyweights and bigger weights. So why would I add some more muscle or some more mass to my frame when... I guess my body's not used to it. Uh, it doesn't make sense to me. Makes sense to me. Okay, uh, Blahovich has talked about his Polish power. He says he's prepared for your style. He says he plans to knock you out in the second round. My question for you, Israel, is do you think there's a way to prepare for your style? And how do you make sure that his prediction about a second round knockout does not come true? There's a way to prepare for my style. Um... I guess it's just fight me. <laughs> That's how you get ready for my style. But by the time you do, it's too late. And, yeah, um, he could be asleep by the first round. Fair enough. If you win Saturday, Israel, you'd be the first undefeated double champ in UFC history. You have the potential super fight on the table with John Jones. If you were to beat John Jones, you're in the conversation for greatest of all time in the UFC. Are you feeling any of that pressure? No, not really, no. I mean, I do what got me to the dance, so, yeah, I just keep the same energy and keep it rolling and take it one fight at a time. And I focus on the fight in front of me because if I don't get it done, then, you know, it takes away from all the greatness that I can achieve later on. So I'm just focused on this fight. And once I get it done, then we can talk about the options that I have. Now, Kamaru Usman said he'd like to come up to the middleweight division. He's your buddy. He won't come up to the middleweight division if you still hold that title. He doesn't want to fight you. You guys are friends. If you win Saturday, what is your plan with the middleweight title? I'm going back down to middleweight. I'm definitely defending my throne there. Um, yeah, I keep this. I, it's still my weight division, you know. I can make 185 still this week if I need to. Um, but, yeah, there's no, um, there's no need for me and Kamara to do um, any kind of battle. So I think the, con the continent of Africa deserves um, three great champions, or four, in fact, when I win the light heavyweight belt and when Francis Ngannou wins the heavyweight belt. The continent of Africa deserves four great champions uh, coming from, from the soil. So, yeah, I look forward to that image being plastered all over, all over the world and inspiring a lot of Africans everywhere when it happens. Yeah, it's very inspiring. Now, you pretty much cleaned out the middleweight division. Is there anyone left at 185 pounds that actually intrigues you as an opponent? Yeah, just Darren Till. I just want to fight him because of his style. Um, but, yeah, I mean, he just has to keep winning. So, yeah, get <laughs> together, Darren. <laughs> and finally, how did you get the nickname The Last Style Bender? Um, I coined it myself. Um, based on the uh, TV series The Last Airbender, Avatar, uh, because of just the parallels between my myself and the protagonist in that story. So, yeah, it made sense that he's the avatar of that world by mastering all the elements. I'm the avatar of this world, trying to master all the elements in martial arts.
Okay. Israel Adesanya fighting Jan Blahovich this Saturday. Good luck to you, my friend, and thank you so much for joining us on the television program. Uh, it's called Sports Center with Jay Onright. Awesome. Thanks, my man. Appreciate it. There you go. What a good guy. Huge main event. But that is just one of three title fights at the upcoming UFC 259 this Saturday. It also includes Amanda Nunez defending her featherweight title against Megan Anderson. You can order this pay-per-view through your local television provider. The main card begins at 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 Pacific.